guys, but just wanted to record this real pretty stretch of river right here. You gotta be real careful in it because there's a lot of stumps and stuff, but I kind of feel like I know where I'm at, so I'm kind of cruising on through. Back off the throttle here. This is old river run. It's, it's real pretty to see, you know, uh, a non man made channel that's been, you know, for thousands of years probably right here the way it is. What's up, guys? This is Tyler, Wallace Farming Sawmill. Today, we're not farming and we're not sawmilling, but we're out on the river playing. Uh, last video seemed to do pretty good, showing us out having a good time taking a day off. So we're doing it again. Uh, last video was short when I when I did this type content, and that was because my camera uh, had a lot of footage that got corrupted and messed up. So this time, we're gonna plan on that not happening. And I'm going to get you some more in-depth conversations told about the boat that I built. Um, I had a lot of people tell me that they liked it, and I appreciate that. Uh, so let's talk about it. This boat is the uh, it's a Spira design that I purchased the plan from uh, Jeff Spira's website, which Jeff has now since passed on, and his website's been taken down, which is a great loss to the uh, boat building community. But um, that's, that's where I got these plans several years ago. I remember having some good conversations back and forth through email with Jeff, the designer. This is the 19-foot Pacific Power Dory. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice boat. Uh, I have to get that beam width. I know it's a 19-footer. Um, she's got high sides. Uh, she's designed like uh, where these boats were famous at, or this style of boat, rather is uh up in oregon uh, i'm trying to think of the name of the city right now but anyway in that specific fishery they launch these boats from the beach and uh, that's why they're made with flat bottoms and uh they use them in that specific fishery which that specific fishery and style of fishing works well with the type of fishery that i have because of course on small river systems and bigger river systems you know a uh flat bottom boat of course works well I'm trying to get back and get you some you know some footage from it and see its lines and how she lays but yeah she does really well um we've enjoyed her i've had her for i believe this would be the third season i've had this boat um when i first got it uh when i first built it rather i had it painted blue and white and i had some scratches and some dings which i got some more trying to uh show up on the side now because rivers there's logs and there's scratches and trees and tie off points and things happen and uh you know i've had i need to repaint her every now and then but yeah we, we finally did that color we named her the osprey um it does really good on the water I think I got some footage coming down the river, and if I don't, I'll get some here in a minute. I'm going to check my camera, but uh, I got some footage of it. We were doing 32 miles per hour on the way up here with a 90-horse Nissan outboard two-stroke. And, uh, yeah, it does really good. So that was my little ramble about the boat. And now uh, my son and wife, they're out here doing a little... Well, we're going to cook out here in a little bit. So what do you what'd you find? Somebody made a makeshift paddle. I think so. So we got a makeshift paddle here. Somebody formed together. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's the info about the boat. Now let's get on to the fun stuff. I'm going to come out here in a second and I'm going to throw around this, uh, this grass and see if I can catch me up a little bait and put me a rod out. Like I said, we're just trying to have some fun and we're going to take um, Aiden and let him swim. And we're going to do some fishing uh not some serious fishing we if we if we ever make a video for some serious fishing which is definitely coming we'll be getting up at you know six in the morning and on the water by six thirty seven o'clock like you know normal bass fishing cat fishing all that type stuff but right now it's just sunday afternoon and we're trying to have a good time get some footage out for you guys to watch i just released a video today on sunday of the uh welding i did over Friday and Saturday, and uh, yeah. 
So I'm gonna skip along now to the next section of this, which is gonna be me doing a couple cast nets around this grass mat. Try to catch some a shad or two so I can put my catfish rod out. Other than that, we're gonna be hanging out here on this uh, little wash out here and uh, having a good time. I'll be back. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch something out here. I don't see much to do, and it's too shallow right here. That shallow part goes way out. Yeah. See if we can get around here to this deeper part. That's why it's killing me. I think I see something jumping right there in the middle. Right there in that, in that squirrel? Yep. Yeah. I may have to get in the boat and come around there and hit that spot right there. We use it a lot around the spillways. It's easy to catch bait around the spillways the right time of year. The hotter it gets, the harder it gets on bait around the spillways. See, they're flicking over there across the river. We can get in the boat and go get them there. I'm just trying to walk around here and see what we can make happen. It's not deep enough. They're over there in that deeper, cooler water. This water here is hot because it's in the sun. See if maybe I hit the channel right in here and I might get down a little deeper. Alright, you're throwing. Go ahead. It opened. <laughs> it's car. Yeah. It's so shallow. We're on the hot side. We'll go to the narrow the, the deeper, cooler side and hopefully catch one. Gather it up one more time, give it one more throw over here. Then once you get that uh, chunk, then I'll get in the boat and we'll ease over there and try it. It opened. It's so shallow. It is shallow. It's hitting the bottom as soon as it gets out there. So we'll go to the cooler side and we'll definitely probably catch something here in just a second. Let's move over. All right, I'm starting. All right, so Aiden had uh, seen and wanted to give it a shot himself. Kind of half opened. Doing a little net, teaching him to throw this little net. You can throw a net all day long, but if you don't open it, you ain't catching a fish. No matter how big or small your net is. I have only threw personally up to a seven and a half foot net and I can open a seven and a half footer no problem. The three footers are easy for, for our system. Uh, didn't really get it too open there, but half, but it just, you have to throw it a thousand times. Throw a net a thousand times, you figure it out. So we're gonna go cross over here to that deeper side where the shad were flipping, flipping, flicking, whatever you wanna call it over there. We'll catch some over there. Now dragging up through here. Pretty big sandbar here. This is crazy how the water does. Runs these channels and uh, you know it will get over this uh, sandbar at times. It's crazy. Guys, check this out. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's so many gar right here. Right there. There's like one right there. I don't know if your camera's picking that up or not. Hold this, buddy. Go, your, go to your left. Go to your left.
All right, guys. Check out what I found. This is a valuable and important thing. I'm about to get me a new Bimini top to install on the boat. And the valuable thing that I'm speaking of for a day out on the river is one of these. And what is one of these, you may ask? That's a shade tree. And uh, I'm sitting in the shade right now. It's hot. It's very hot. And uh, we're just uh, cooling it down. Aiden's out playing in the water. And uh, yeah, so next thing we're gonna do here in just a little bit is getting, getting towards supper time. We'll find us a better spot to get here in a little bit and we're gonna set our little grill up on the front of the boat there and we're gonna cook us a little dinner. So stay tuned and we'll have dinner before we take her out for the evening. All right, guys, enough talking about it. Finally got to a spot. We got around a corner here and sun's back over there and we're in the shade. So I set up my little grill on the front of the boat. And we got us a little cooking action going on. Got us some burgers back here and then some squash and zucchini on the grill. And uh, that's what's for dinner today. Definitely a nice view. And don't get me wrong, I do love the view of that sawmill. But uh, being out on the lake is uh, a little more fun at times. But yeah, we're cooking, uh, cooking it up. We don't have all the, you know, when you're out camping, cooking out away from home, you don't have everything you want. Of course, all I had was a little very little seasonings on me. I have, I brought me some soy sauce and some uh, salt and pepper and well, that's what we're having. Don't those look good? All right, we'll try those here in just a little bit. I'll give them a little while longer to cook. Oh, those got hot right there, those first two. Don't look at them. And uh, uh, while those burgers finish up, then we're gonna cook, then we're gonna get headed out. And then I'm gonna get some footage uh, headed back out down the river and uh, loading her up on the trailer. So stay with us. Ready to load her up. See if I can get her on there. You just have to fight her around a little bit. up there.
All right, guys, we made it back to the house. We're finished with our day of play. We're back at the sawmill. You can see the sawmill way back there in the background. And tomorrow, we'll be back at it again, sawing some stuff. There is going to be some very big news after this particular update. It's a very high possibility that I may have done it again and bought another sawmill. We're gonna wait till Monday to find out for sure. But if you guys are interested in this content, you like following along with the sawmilling, the farming, and the other adventures that we have going, and you want to continue to join along with us in that, well, this is the channel for it. So if you guys want to follow us, just like, comment, and subscribe. And you can keep following on with all of our adventures. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, thank you. See ya.